My name is James. Welcome to the 24 Beers Project. I'm not a beer expert, but over the course of this afternoon, I am going to be taste testing 24 Ontario craft beers simply because I love beer. Uh, this is uh, beer lucky number 13. Um, this comes from Broadhead Brewing. It is a grind stone amber ale. Uh, we've got very little information. Maybe they're stingy with information. I don't know. Uh, all we know is the ABV is 5%. So it's amber. I'm expecting an amber color. Um, doesn't really say a whole lot. So, uh, aside. <sighs> Rich amber color, caramel overtones, balanced bittersweet finish. It's a business plan. It's a business plan. Yeah, I know. I uh, the broadhead business plan: build small brewery, brew tasty beer, sell some, drink some, grow large beards, quit your day jobs, hire all of our friends, make a rap video. All right, you know what, fair enough, fair enough. I don't know anything about these people, but I like them. Um, whether I will like their beer, we'll find out. Or will you like their rap video? Of course it does. It does, it has uh, a little orangey, uh, the color, a nice head. I think I smell some hops in there, but I'm not sure if it's just the head that's blocking uh, the scent underneath. It's very crisp. I find it pretty smooth. Uh, the hops is very, uh, what do they say on this one? Um, a bittersweet finish. Actually, I agree with that. It's, uh, it's flavorful. Um, well, again, like with that, the, the idea behind that bittersweet finish is, uh, it's, it's kind of both. I actually, I actually think that they, they got that. They, they nailed that, that. Are they as sweet as this young lady? May I try some? You may, I Kathy. I like sweet, I like bitter. Sometimes it's actually, it's, it actually has a good balance Perfect. between the two. Apparently I don't know how to pour beer. Excitement. Oh, it smells interesting. Kind of. <laughs> it smells like interesting. <laughs> like interesting. Saw, sawdust or something. Sawdust? Oranges and sawdust. I don't know. Oranges and sawdust? Maybe sausages. That's Maybe gonna be the name sausages? of my band. And it's, it has Skittles. a weird. It smells like Skittles. <laughs> no, there's a really. I don't know. I'm gonna taste it. Find another S for it. Hmm. Cilantro. Smooth. Smooth. Yeah. Actually, it is very it's, smooth. It's really nice. James, you speak the truth. It's really nice. I actually think they nailed that that balance between bitter and sweet. Like, uh, they... You know what? I wouldn't call it bitter at all, because I don't like beers that are hoppy. And this is a very smooth... Um, I see what you mean, but it's it's balanced. It's not It's not like... So we can order that if you went into a bar? Absolutely. Yeah, This is going to be my new beer for the summer. This is... Ooh, look out. I actually, I actually also really like the brew notes. There, there's no, like, there's no giant paragraphs. They're not trying to sound uh, pretentious or like they know what they're doing. What uh, the they just <laughs> state exactly what it is and uh, let it be at that, and that works. What about for the ladies who can't grow beards? I mean, some ladies can grow beards. Well, that's their that's but their business plan. I personally, though, so. I mean, can I drink it even though I don't have some a beard? Ladies, like, some ladies, can a some ladies can grow beards. Some ladies can grow. I know. Um, for those of us who can't grow beards, I mean, what do you do? I guess you need to bring a friend with a beard. Is this? I think you can drink it without a beard. <laughs> I think you're good. I don't want hair on my chest. Wax that off. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this, but uh, I think it's time to move on to beer number 14. If you're on a boat and you're not driving the boat, then sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if you're going to do, uh, gonna do a voyage, uh, don't drink this. Don't drink anything if you're in command of whatever is happening.